And tonight, the entire Denver 7 News team is working to gather new information about the shooting, about the suspects who are still on the run, and we are paying tribute to Adams County Sheriff's Deputy Heath Gum. Thank you for joining us on what's another difficult day for Coloradans. I'm Ann Trujillo. And I'm Shannon Ogden. I want to get straight to Denver 7's Jennifer Kovaleski. She spent the day working hard to get answers about the Adams County Sheriff's investigation. Jen? Shannon and we spent all day trying to figure out that information and I got to tell you it has been a tough day here at the Commerce State substation. As you can see behind me the memorial for Deputy Gum just continues to grow. We've got people here leaving flowers. We have seen this all throughout the day. Now in just the last hour we got our first update from the sheriff where we learned key information about this investigation. First we learned that Deputy Gum was wearing a bulletproof vest but there are parts of those vests that are not protected, and that's likely what happened here. Hear more of what the sheriff had to say. Serving in law enforcement is a shared sacrifice, and the families of our deputies and law enforcement officers across Colorado appreciate the outpouring of support and prayers. Tonight, we're also learning deputies were first called to Thornton on a disturbance. Investigators say while Deputy Gum was identifying a suspect, a man pulled a gun and fired. The sheriff says they were able to arrest the suspect they believe pulled the trigger within an hour of the shooting. The other two suspects are still out there tonight, and police want to talk to them, but stress they do not believe they were involved in the shooting of their deputy, but have information about that disturbance. Here's more from the sheriff. There is nothing more important to me than making sure that the person or persons that are involved in this situation as a whole, but particularly the situation of the shooting and the killing of one of our deputies comes to justice. As you just heard the sheriff say, this is still a very active investigation. And because they have a suspect in custody who will likely have to go to trial, there are a lot of procedures that have to be followed, and it will take some time before we can learn more information. We've also learned tonight that Adams County deputies do not wear body cameras, so we will never see the moments that led up to this shooting, unlike we did when in, De in Deputy Zach Parrish's case in Douglas County. Reporting live in Commerce City tonight, Jennifer Kovaleski, Denver 7. All right, Jen, thank you so much.